and NASA's purpose here was to have this educational outreach for undergraduates, participate in field campaigns. In this particular case, we have two eclipses. One is an annular eclipse of the sun, which will take place in Mexico. And the next one is a total eclipse of the sun. What we'll be able to get are profiles of the atmosphere. You essentially turn off the sun in the middle of the day. What does the atmosphere do? How does the atmosphere react to that in terms of, well, we've now lost all the heating? We are going to be working with three separate teams, collecting data 24 hours ahead of the eclipse. We want to study how the eclipse is impacting our atmosphere. So what features of our atmosphere are changing? Launching weather balloons is uh, one of the best ways that we could collect meteorological data. For meteorology, it's important to know not just what's happening at the ground, but also what's happening through the whole rest of the atmosphere. That's where your weather is really happening. So this is a chance for the students to really, from beginning to the end, run a field project, taking the data, and analyzing the data. They're really going to be running the show. Okay, so field project 101. Well, I, I know we're cables. In fact, we're going to be working to publish a research paper, which is an incredible experience to get by the end of our senior year. We have such great faculty. They're constantly involved with really big research projects, and they're always sure to send those opportunities out to students. And not only to graduate students who you typically think of doing research, but they get a lot of opportunities to get undergraduates like myself involved in that. It's a great experience to get in your undergrad career. You know, I'm still learning every single day. You know, we make mistakes. We, we had a weather balloon launch today where the sun didn't connect. Two, one. Launch. And that's normal. Field work does not go as expected sometimes, and it's all part of the learning process.